Let's take a look at that story. With the International Monetary Fund, IMF, breathing hard on the Kenyan government to scrap all the fuel subsidies by the end of October, President William Ruto will have to go back to the drawing board if he has to mitigate the ever-rising cost of living occasioned by the high cost of fuel. The latest decision by the OPEC-class countries to cut daily production by 2 million barrels a day will definitely hurt local prices as the price of fuel per barrel is expected to shoot up to $100 for the first time since July. The countries, including Saudi Arabia, where Kenya recently said they could turn for cheap oil, said the decision was aimed at stabilizing prices which means that even as international prices stabilize, the local price drop might not be significant enough to inform removal of fuel subsidies. Global oil prices have been falling in the recent months, largely on increased uh, supply by exporting countries. But Wednesday's deal to reverse policy on a high output has raised fears. The cost will climb. Landed prices for fuel have been dropping in the recent couple months, August saw the landed cost of petrol at the port of Mombasa drop for the first time since January. Petrol arrived at the port at um, $812, a 24.31% dip from the $1,074 a month earlier, and the lowest since the $676 in February, according to data from the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority. Even before the actual implementation of the latest deal by the upper-class countries, the expected announcement already saw Mabana Oil, which Kenya uses as benchmark, shoot up with Thursday afternoon trading at $94.73 per barrel, a growth of 7.06% over 